Okay, everybody. So in this video, we are going to talk about light bulbs. One of the biggest claims of the LED bulbs when they came out after the CFLs was, compared to um, the incandescent light bulbs, they only get warm or they don't get hot at all. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's only half true. Okay, we have a couple of light bulbs that we're going to look at here today in the basement. Now. Um, I have one of the bulbs right here. All the light bulbs in the basement, aside from that one right there that we're using for this video too, is, um, is this type right here, okay? This is a 100 watt equivalent light bulb by Fate, Fate Electric. There you go. I think it's how you say the word. I'm not too sure. Okay. Now, I'm sure you have seen many LED bulbs that are of this design. You have the globe, port, which I'll call it this. You have the globe portion here where the light actually comes out of. And you have this white plastic portion up here, okay? Now, what I'm about to describe here isn't just specific to this brand. We also, well, the Long Island House also has, um, also has um, bulbs by EcoSmart that are, um, that are of this type. Uh, just, you know, wider for the big uh, light cans. And, you know, um, the, uh, the globe portion, well, it's not really a globe, but you get an idea. Um, the clear, we'll, just, we'll call it that instead. The clear portion on the bottom and the white plastic portion on the top, okay? Now, when this light has been on for a while, okay, this part right here that the light comes out of, that's perfectly safe to touch no matter how long the light has been on, whether the bulb's been on, whether it's been off for a while. This part right here is totally fine to touch whenever you want. But this white plastic part is quite the opposite, okay? Now, to accurately measure this, all right, I'm going to be using this thermometer that you remember from a couple of videos ago, okay? And we're going to take a look at the measurements of these bulbs. First the globe portion and then the white plastic portion, okay? Now what I have in this socket right here, uh, just for a little bit of comparison, that's a that's a 60 watt equivalent uh, equivalent bulb by Cree, as, as you've seen in a, couple of my, in a couple of my videos already. And we're going to just take a look at the differences of how some bulbs do kind of follow that um, not as hot claim and others really don't in some cases and let's go ahead and show you that all right so i'm on here on the ladder at the moment and i just want to have a little bit of a disclaimer i'm going to be doing some hand tests meaning i'm going to be feeling how the bulb feels so just a little disclaimer don't try this at home okay so right now we're looking at the Cree LED bulb and i do want to apologize my camera's probably going to be doing a ton of light adjustments because i'm looking right at it so this is the 60 watt uh, Cree bulb okay now, this particular bulb, I'm going to put my hand on the whole thing. And yeah, the bottom portion is just barely warm at all. It gets a little warmer as you get towards the top here, but I'm holding on to that top portion and it is just warm to the touch, not too hot for the hand at all. And you can see I can put my hand over it like this. Totally fine, everything's okay. And I just do want to say, the only reason why I can safely look into these bulbs is because I have my sunglasses on right now, so give me a little bit of eye protection as I do this. So like I said, this part of the bulb right here, nice and cool, up here is where it gets a little bit warmer, okay? Now let's go ahead and take a measurement with the thermometer. Now to anyone who's not from uh, the US, I apologize, but I'm only gonna do Fahrenheit in this video, okay? But you can easily find a converter online, so just do that if you could, okay? All right, so let's get this going. Okay, so here it is, set, set to Fahrenheit. I'm gonna point at the bulb itself. You're not gonna be able to see the laser, but let's see. If I look right at the bulb portion, at the bottom portion, uh, yeah, that, that's, um, you know, let me, oh, I'm not looking at this correctly, there we go, okay. So about 80, roughly 90, um, uh, okay, between 87 to 90 degrees, okay? And that's probably the portion right here on the bottom, okay? So like I said, not, not too warm at all. Um, 86 degrees and like totally, totally safe to touch, okay? Now, the very top portion that looks kind of dark, let me see if I can show it to you right here. Let's have a look at that. Okay, you can probably see the laser up there. I'm just going to bring the thermometer down because it's hard for me to, uh, to point that in the camera up there at the same time. Okay, so look at that. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, that's, that says 144 degrees. Now the part that I touched was totally fine, okay? But it's probably looking past, don't forget that the plastic's kind of transparent. So it's probably looking past that plastic part, okay? So you can see that um, some, in some in internal parts of this light bulb do get pretty hot, 144 degrees. Now to be fair, that's probably not as hot as an incandescent light bulb, of course, but you know, then again, um, it's still whatever in there is 144 degrees, you probably don't want to touch that. 
So that's the Cree bulb that shows you the temperatures of that, okay? Safe to the touch, but as you can see, towards the very top, it does get pretty hot. Okay, so now, that, like I said, that was the Cree bulb, and I just keep hitting the trigger here to um, keep the light on. Now let's go ahead and look at one of the other bulbs. All right, guys, now we're looking at the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, now we're looking at the other light bulb, and let's do the same test as before, okay? So the hand on this, on the, uh, on the clear portion, okay? Yep, just a little warm. And um, if you're hearing any noise right now, the furnace I just turned on. And um, so, yeah, just this part of the bulb gets a little warmer on top, but overall, this clear portion, look, I put my whole hand over it, nothing. I don't feel anything. Just some warmth. Totally safe, okay? But now, let's go ahead and have a look at that portion of the bulb. Again, don't try this at home. Okay, yeah, I can barely touch that. I'll put my I'll put my hands in the middle. Well, like, yeah, I can hold that for like a second, maybe two seconds before it's way too hot. So, like I said, this part of the bulb isn't all that bad, but up here, that's the really hot part, okay? Now let's just show that again with the thermometer. Let me get it all set up. Okay. And just to prove like it's working correctly, there's the foundation wall, about 56 degrees, okay? We're gonna point it at the, um, okay, th this is re reading, okay? We're pointing it at the bulb portion, or the, I'm sorry, the clear portion. 86 degrees, not bad, just a little warm, easy enough to touch, right? Okay. Now we're going to look at the white plastic part of the bulb. Again, I'm gonna have to do this individually. But just to show you, you can see the laser is pointing right on it, okay? So I am measuring the temperature of that part of the bulb. Hold on there for a few seconds. Okay, let's have a look. Look at that, 177 degrees. The maximum was ju just about 182 and a half. So that's definitely not a safe temperature to touch something, okay? 177 and a half. And just to prove it, I'll do it again, okay? So yeah, we'll go up here, kind of around this area. Okay, let's see. Yep, <laughs> look at that, the, the maximum was 182 and this went up to 178. <laughs> so that's getting pretty close to 200 degrees. So like I said, that's the part of the bulb, whether it's this Fade Electronics, whether it's the EcoSmart, any bulb that has a white plastic part like that, especially if the bulb's upside down like it is on these sockets, you do not want to touch that. So that just goes to show you that the whole claim about them not getting warm or hot is is absolute bogus. Some parts of them don't get that hot, but some of them that say it doesn't get hot at all, not true at all. Look at that, 178 um, degrees, okay? You know what, just third time's a charm, we'll do it once more, okay? Right around there, you can see the laser. Okay. Look at that, 183, oop, I messed it up, sorry. But you saw that, it was 183. I held the trigger down for too long. Okay. Yep, 182.6. So, yeah. Now, again, is this as hot as an incandescent light bulb? It probably isn't. But that's not a safe temperature to touch. So, like I said, like I said, the claim of them not getting hot is only half true. But you get the idea and you can see what I'm talking about. So, 182.6. Now, to be fair, the Cree bulb does use less... Um, wattage even if by a little bit it's only a 60 watt equivalent these are 100 watt equivalents okay but just you know just fair warning if you take out a um an led bulb that has that white plastic part do so at your own risk you can probably again you can probably unscrew it from the um from the clear portion totally fine but to just don't touch the white plastic part or just shut the bulb off let it cool for a while then take it off so there you have it, guys. So, um, like I said, that claim is only half true. This part of the bulb stays pretty cool, but this part, not even close. So there you have it. Just goes to show you how some of these claims that people make are just, uh, are just not as true as they seem. So there you go. Pretty fun video. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.